Good morning, everyone. Good day. My name is Nura. I'm the, the founder of Plano. So today I will give you a very brief introduction to what we are building, an AI agent for UAV. But I'll start with a very high-level problem. So especially in this um, conference, you've seen a lot with UAV and drones. So I'll start with the biggest three main problems, what is happening with uh, UAV. The first one is that it's very non-scalable. So many of the UAV solutions are relying on pilots, especially professional pilots, that are very hard to find, but also very expensive. But there's also a second problem. That is why we have not seen many UAV outside, because of failures. So a lot of accident happens are usually because of human errors. That is why regulations are very strict on this. But now there is another problem, which is the last one. Some of you might have heard it, spoofing or jamming. So basically in some areas, of course, in um, the military, but also in areas like airport or busy areas, basically there are jammings, so drones cannot fly in those areas. So what are our solutions to these problems? So we are building an AI agent. I know it's a buzzword, so that, let me start with the very first basic principle. What is an AI agent? So some of you here might know this topic, but I'll start with a very brief. So an AI agent is basically a model that is trained in an environment, for example, in the simulations, and they are or they have sensors such as cameras, for example, or microphone to perceive what is happening in the environment. So they process this with their sensors, and then they take actions. The magic happens because this can repeat multiple times, 100 times or even 1,000 times. So based on the actions, they will either get a reward or a punishment. So then the model will get better and better across time. I'll give an example. So starting with the, the very basic or fun one, which an OpenAI started, this is a very famous thing called hide and seek game, which they train an AI agent to play hide and seek. They're running like thousands of different scenarios, and at the end, the agent is smart enough to fool the other AI agent. Now, talking a bit serious, so this application has been used in autonomous vehicles. For example, Tesla is very good on this, so they use the sensors and then use what is called the neural network to process that and then use that data to control the comments. So basically not to crash to other cars. So we use this inspirations. I don't know if I can play a video here. Uh, I'll try. Oop. OK, so I can't play the video. But basically, this is what we're doing. So we are using the. OK, should I go back? We, we can keep it here, it's fine, I can just explain. Oh. Yeah, so basically we're using the simulations to train a UAV to do many things like obstacle avoidance, detecting object, but also others such as delivering goods, doing landings, and doing many different things that might not be available to do it in the real world. And based on, based on this, oops, if I move here, so basically based on the simulation training, we then apply it to the real world. And how are we doing it right now? So we have two example use cases. One of them is security, as you can see here, security purposes, for example, detecting humans, detecting cars across the borders. Of course, you can train the models by actually flying to those areas. But by doing it in the simulations, then you can actually save time, save resources, and at the end, have a better model to do the task that you are supposed to do. And second, also a very important use cases. This is a project that we are doing in Singapore, for example. How can a drone deliver goods to the ship? It sounds very simple, but as you know, the environments are very difficult due to the winds. The ships are still moving and so on. So it's very hard for a pilot to do that. So what do we do is that we train the model or autonomous agent to have more than hundreds different scenarios to actually have a proper landing in an environment like this. So they're saving a lot of time, but also saving a lot of money. And our use cases basically can be applied to many different things, such as 
agriculture's inspections, and also, of course, security and defense. And currently, we're still starting with those two use cases, as I mentioned. And lastly, so how do we work? So we are a software provider, so we work usually in a projects or directly with the drone manufacturers and can install our solutions very easily to their existing flight stacks. And yeah, lastly, the value, of course, it's uh, highly scalable because then you can reduce training of your pilots, but also make it autonomous and also cost effective, especially the training of different scenarios that can happen in the simulations. And most importantly right now is the safety and reliability. So by doing this, our goal is also to show this to the regulators and also aviation agencies out there that this is the best way to make drones accessible for everyone. And yeah, so that is my short pitch. We have a, a booth over there. If you come by, I can explain a bit more and also show a demo of what we are building. Thanks for listening. <laughs>